Hello and welcome to another edition of Just Wing It's Air Combat Scenarios. Today we are in the Gripen vs the Felon. Fox 3 Missile is tracking Splash 1 Phelan The Gripen is armed with long-range Fox 3 missiles. They are quite effective, quite accurate by the looks of things. I believe they are called Meteors. The Gripen is also a very good cost-efficient fighter aircraft may not be the most advanced but in terms of value it is a fantastic aircraft highly maneuverable fast fantastic weapon system it is an ideal aircraft for countries such as South Africa Tracking another felon. Another Fox 3. Missile tracking. Splash another felon. I actually found this aircraft a very easy aircraft to fly. Most systems are automated, such as the spoilers is also known as air brakes and as well as the flaps so you very seldom have to do anything even the trim is automated this aircraft also has fantastic electronic countermeasures and as a result it is very difficult to actually track the gripping making it a very very powerful fighter. Tracking another felon. I have to maintain a high energy state, meaning I have to keep my speed as high as possible during the turn so that the intercept will be more effective. Fox 3. Looks like the missile is tracking. The Gripen is actually an amazing aircraft. To me it reminds me a lot of the Cheetah. Another felon splashed. I have noticed missiles passing by me, so it doesn't look like the missiles are actually tracking me. I believe this is a error in the programming of the missiles. Splash 2. 
that kind of makes this fight a bit unfair, I think. For those who don't know the cheetah, it is a derivative from the Mirage 3. Um, South Africa had modified it heavily, added a front canard just like you see with the Gripen. Um, I think even the tail looks pretty similar. The Cheetah is also the first fighter aircraft to have a helmet mounted heads up display. There's actually a very interesting history behind the Cheetah. So tune in next time for the history and be sure to subscribe so that you will be notified of it. Tracking another felon. Fox 3. This is my last long range missile. So I'm going to have to start using Fox 2s. Missile tracking. Okay, too easy. Splash another felon. Uh, don't think the felon is programmed properly. There is no way it should be this easy to take on a stealth fighter in the Gripen. Also bear in mind I do have the difficult seating on absolute maximum. So yes, there's definitely something not right with the programming. I do not think it is the actual physics of the aircraft that's wrong. I think it's got to do more with the weapon system. After this flight I did try to fly the Felon. Um, it wasn't an easy aircraft to fly. Not nearly as easy as the Gripen. So I'm assuming that it wasn't programmed completely. The controls were just way too sensitive and it was easy to over G and break the plane apart. Tracking another felon. Switching to Fox 2s. Fox 1 indicates launch of a semi-active radar guarded missile such as the AIM-7 Sparrow. Fox 2 indicates launch of an infrared guarded missile such as the AIM-9 Sidewinder. And Fox 3 indicates launch of an active radar guarded missile such as the AIM-120 AMRAM. What I've noticed for the most part is Fox 2s are usually shorter range missiles whereas FOX 3s are longer range missiles. It's not entirely true, but that is what is normally seen. My current armament on the Gripen indicates just that. Entering the merge. Let's go for a one circle. Nose on target. It's keeping it's keep me in the HUD. Too close, switching to guns. Now this is a dogfight. Guns only. Splash another felon. By all accounts, the felon should be able to outmaneuver me. The felon has vector thrust and the Gripen does not. 
especially in a one circle engagement the F-22 Raptor is a very good example of that uh, the nose turns very fast and very difficult to avoid the Raptor's nose so the felon in theory should be the same tracking new target out for missile contrails they usually appear quite close to me but they never actually hit I find energy management on the Gripen is a little bit difficult because it doesn't seem to have that much power in the engines, which is surprising I think. That said, the Gripen is definitely not a slow aircraft. Can you see that missile contrail there? I have a similar problem with the F-35 model. For some unknown reason, if you try to fire a missile at it, it completely misses every single time. It doesn't even come close to the aircraft. I'm going to pull my nose ahead of him so I can get a Fox 2 off. Fox 2 away. Splash another felon. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you for watching.